So recently, there was an announcement from 9 to 5 Google that Google is beginning to roll out Fuchsia OS to its first generation of Nest Hub, Google's smart home display. And to top it off, the framework to build a UI on top of Fuchsia OS is Flutter. Therefore, why did Google choose Flutter as Fuchsia UI toolkit and what is the future for Fuchsia with Flutter? Before I go deep on the juicy parts, let me explain what is Fuchsia. So Fuchsia is an operating system that was created in Google and headed by Chris McElop, who is currently the Google Engineering Director of Fuchsia. He posted saying 22 years ago, I started on a journey and tonight he becomes real. Such inspiration as it took him 22 years for his vision to be a reality. Anyway, Fuchsia is based on a non-new Linux kernel called Zircon. And therefore, what is this Linux kernel or is it a popcorn? Well, it is not. So what a kernel does is that it handles the rest of the startup process, input-output requests from other programs, and it manages memory and hardware peripherals such as keyboards, monitors, printers, and speakers. Therefore, a Linux kernel is a widely used kernel created by Linus Torvalds. Fuchsia is using a kernel that is called Zircon. So where does Flutter come into the picture for Fuchsia? Well, if you see back on the diagram, the operating system has many different parts such as device drivers, security, networking, and user interface. And since Flutter is a UI or user interface toolkit and is gaining popularity, why not be the UI of Fuchsia? And this is true because having Flutter to work with Fuchsia is in the works under the Fuchsia roadmap called the Flutter on Fuchsia Velocity. It can be found on the official website of Fuchsia. Therefore, what is the future with Fuchsia with Flutter? This is just my opinion. I would say that Fuchsia is helping Flutter's goal of being a true multi-platform framework. And currently, Flutter is able to build on mobile apps, website, desktop, and embedded devices. And the embedded devices is one that we often overlooked, yet an important platform. So these embedded devices are more specifically smart devices with touchscreen. So having Fuchsia to help with the embedded platforms using Flutter as a UI toolkit will help Flutter in its vision to be a multi-platform framework. Having Flutter to work on embedded devices is not a new thing. This was made possible in the Lenovo Smart Clock and now with the Nest Hub. Moreover, companies such as Toyota is bringing their infotainment system to use Flutter as its UI. So would Fuchsia be the next operating system for smartphones and will it replace Android operating system or OS? Well, I don't think so. This is because Android is pretty stable and mature. There isn't a lot of breaking things that is required that needs fixing. Moreover, for Fuchsia to really take off, I believe that you need to solve an actual problem. So how Flutter became popular is that it solves poor design and performance in closed mobile app frameworks. Thus, it solves the real need of building mobile applications that compiles into native code. This means that the performance is similar or on par if you were to build it on a native platform. Trust me, I tried testing a pretty insane animation Flutter application on the 2GB RAM Android phone and it was buttery smooth. I was shook. Therefore, to make Fuchsia to be a popular framework, it should be solving a problem that developers, or I would say in the embedded device industry is facing. If not, it will be just a project that Google is trying to push to us, which has been proven not effective most of the time. So I do understand on pushing the nature of these projects with enough pushers, you never know that Google might be on to something, it might be the next Flutter success or Angular Darts failure. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below. And comment down if Fuchsia will be the next operating system for the embedded device industry. So stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.